Hi, this is the Transit Mark 7. We're going to change the front pads and discs. First thing you need to do is crack your wheel nuts off, jack the car up, put an axle stand on, take the rest of the wheel nuts off, then remove the wheel. Here's the pads and discs we're going to fit. Right, when you've got your wheel off, you need to remove the split pin, this uh, cover, then undo the nut, which is a 36mm. Then just wind the nut out to the end of the, th of the thread. Then get a big old hammer and give it a sharp whack just to get it moving on the splines behind it. I'll show you how this is done. Just put it there, the nut, and give it a whack so you don't damage your thread. Right there. Bang. A couple of bangs, I expect. Then you'll see the uh, you move off the splines. Then you know it's going to come off a lot easier. There you go. Right. Now inside these little holes here, these ones, there is a torque, a TX50. You need a long one to get in there and unwind them. So take all five of those out. Right here it is, you need a really long one to get right inside. A short dumpy one won't do. Just put it in there and crack all five of those off. Well, now you've got these little 13s, hang on, where are they? These 13s here, five of them, just crack them off. I took them all the way off, but you can uh, leave them on if you want. Then when you go and mine them, just take this big washer out, like so. Then undo these two, which I think these were 15 mil. And take the front of the caliper off like this. Remove your pads, or well, remove one pad and the other one. Then what you can do is put the caliper back on to push the pistons back. But remember to take the brake reservoir cap off. Right, we've just put the uh, the caliper back over it just to push the pistons back. So you can see, just get a screwdriver. You push one back and the other one will come out. So you've got to do them both together. Obviously I'll do this in a minute because I'm holding the camera with one hand as well just to show you. It should go back really easy like that. No problem. Well now you need an 18mm to get these two bolts off the caliper, those two there, just take them straight off. And make sure your sliders, these parts here, move up and down easy like that, if not, just squirt a little bit of oil, or take them out, grease them up, a little bit of oil in there, right down the back there, just pull the rubber off, squirt, so they move easy. Okay now, for a big time, you're going to give the uh, back of the disc here a hard whack. And then you'll see it's splitting from the actual main hub and it'll pop straight off like that. And just give it all a nice clean up. And it's time to reassemble. So just give this a good old clean around here. We've got some brake cleaner squirted all over it. This is some, some lube from the uh, trying to get it off. So I've cleaned it. A little bit of grease here and there. Just to make your life easier. And... Um, start to reassemble right now you've greased it up you put the discs on put these five 13 mil bolts back for the disc make sure they're nice and tight and pop it back on the shaft then start putting the caliper on right here's the bolts don't forget to put these in five of them first so it's nice and tight put the uh, carrier case on off the caliper a little bit of grease here and there to make them slide easier and stop them squeaking Right, when you put the pads on, sometimes on the back of the pads there's these little lumpy bits. Sometimes you need to file them down or grind them down. If when you put them on and you have trouble getting the um, actual caliper over the disc, where you push the pistons back, you need to grind these off. So when, when it's all together, if you can't spin the wheel, these little bits here, and on the other side, the four there, these look a bit high, so I've, I've had to grind them down because I couldn't spin the wheel. And obviously, pop your uh, split pin and bolt back in, and it's all done. Hope this video has helped some of you out, and good luck if you're doing the same to your vehicle.